Do you think women can handle the truth? No. Mm. Okay. Baby Lex, do you think women can handle the truth? Yeah. Okay. I knew you was going to say that. Yep. You do think women can handle the truth? 100%. Okay. No, that's cool. And Val, do you think women can handle the truth? Regardless for of our reaction, yes, we can. Okay, cool. Right. So, regardless of the reaction, yes, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Oh, so regardless of the reaction, you can't handle. We truth. might spaz out at okay. first, so okay. it's like, oh, here's we it. can handle it. Okay, so if you can handle the truth, right? Think about this: every guy that you've ever met in every situation wants to sleep with you as fast as they can. They never want to commit to you. They want to keep you on a sex Ferris wheel and have multiple other girls on that sex Ferris wheel forever, for as long as they can. As long as they can hold you there, they want to have sex with you. They want to bang this other girl and bang all those other girls. I agree with you. That's the reality of men. I agree. Okay, cool. So now here's a reality check, right? When men approach you and if they said that, Starting with you. Sing back if you were single. Four years ago. If a man approached you and said, Hey, um, Tanika, you're an attractive, beautiful woman. I would love to fornicate with you after this club. What's up? And you happen to be attracted to this man. But that's what he said to you. He's being 100% honest. D- direct. Being direct is honest. If you're being indirect and you're sugarcoating stuff, like, hey, yeah, you're beautiful. What you doing after this? Oh, cool, yeah. Well, but, you know, we got a party going over here, this and this, boom, boom. That's not direct. Speaking what's on your mind is direct. Right. And what's on a man's mind is sex. Mm-hmm. I think you're beautiful. I want to have sex with you. And he was that direct, truthful and honest with you. Would you disqualify him or would you say yes? Single me. Mm-hmm. Single you. If a guy came up to you in the right. club and actually single, if did it ever happen before? Did you ever have a one night stand? No. Okay, cool. Did a guy ever approach you and be and, and was honest with you? Yes. And what happened with that? It ain't happened. It ain't happened. You disqualified him. It's a turn off. Okay, perfect. Cool. So take that there. So we got Tanika. Turn off, <laughs> disqualified. Let's go with Big Lex. Baby Lex. Baby Lex. Um, <laughs> Big Lola. That's Big Lola. Baby Lola. Lola. Baby Lex. Um, Okay, so I feel like it depends where you are in your life. If you're in your like single phase, your like whole phase, what people like I'm to call gonna it. I'm just going to go, it's going to be a, this, a very simple question. Okay, yeah, no, I feel like you can handle this. I feel like women Not, can no, no, handle this. No, no, it's a totally truth. different question. We're going with if a guy approached you, let's go with right now, in this yeah. day and age in, in your life now. If a man approached you and you're happy, to, he's a good looking guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He came up to you. It's actually what you at the club. You see good looking guys. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. A guy approached you and he's like, listen, baby Lex, you a baddie. I want to, uh, you know, take you home right now and do some dirty things to you. If I'm feeling him, then like, yeah. Okay. Now question for you. Have you ever done it before? Yeah. Like, of course. Yeah. Okay. I've so had you've had, had one, one night stands stand, before. Yeah. Okay. And you have one night stands. No, that's okay. Thank you for like, being that's honest. That's hundred percent. Okay. No, thank like you for we being all honest. grown. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now, you know what I mean? We grown. Who yeah. hasn't had one night stands? Me. Or is that people? <laughs> 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 like, like, it's okay. We <laughs> grown. Uh, my baby. It's so, okay. so let's break it down. Right. So <laughs> w- even within that one night stand, did you know that guy prior to it or you just met him that day? You know, probably that night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you met him real that shit, night. Bitch. But like, no, real cool, shit, cool, like we real not shit, we, we not capping, right? Yeah. It's no fugazi podcast. No fugazi, yeah, not. I like the honesty. So, so let's break it all down. You met that guy that night, yeah. And um, that guy in that situation, how did he approach you? Did he was he that direct, or you know, was he a little bit more indirect? It was with more or less like you just feel the vibes. Like you going off of how y'all vibing and you get it. Like, mm. okay, so we he wasn't to go direct. Home together, and we about to do yeah. what we do, and if we don't talk tomorrow, Correct. that's fine. We both yeah, so don't he, care. So yeah. Yeah, we both don't care. The reason why I wanted you to, the reason why I wanted you to elaborate more, and I was asking more questions because he wasn't truthful <laughs> up front. The question is, if the guy is one hundred percent truthful, you will disqualify him. If you meet a guy and he sees you, hey, baby Lex. This was a good dance. So I can't say yes or no to that because it's an, I've never been in that situation. Gotcha. You understand? I've never had a guy actually come to me and say, hey, I want to 
freak you tonight and never speak to you again and that's it i've never had that it was more or less like hey like well not even never speak to you again hey i want to have sex with you tonight tonight Tonight. i don't want to take you on no dates i want to do it tonight right now Right, I've never, never had, had that, that situation. Right, got but it. I've gone off of vibes. Okay, I've I've so gotten now, the vibes. Got you. So let's break it down. Why do you think you never had that situation? Because men think that all the time. I'm letting you know. Am I correct or am I wrong? Or because let's ask the men here. Am I right? 100%. We think it all the time. Okay. So listen. So the man thinks it, but he didn't say it. He never was direct. He was maybe indi- he's intimidated to no, hear no. no he's not, he's not maybe intimidated. he's intimidated he's to hear games, no. Sweetheart. I don't Stop want to. Stop using that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even but, know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the guy ain't gonna say that because he already know. First of all, first That's of all, no, 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 no smooth dude. And do, like he's not coming up to no girl. Man. Hey, let me freak yeah. you, take so, your panties so off. This is what I'm saying, <laughs> like, ladies. Yeah. ladies. You gonna come at it a, a totally different way. Yeah, right? and this so. is what I'm saying. So just to, just to give you the truth of your own scenario, he wasn't truthful with you. So men speak directly. The conversations when me and my bro speak, or me and baby nine speak, and we like, yo, we doing this today. Yo, you want to eat this? Won't we go in there? The conversation goes in one direction. Yeah. When women talk. Y'all like, oh yeah, I'm doing this girl. Oh, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna go get our nails. And after we get our nails, oh my gosh, you seen what happened on the news? Wait, did you watch you on Netflix? It just came out last Thursday. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. The conversation goes like this. And when that conversation goes like this for females, that's how you feel the vibe. That isn't truthful. It isn't direct. It's just it's a vibe. So men that are good with women, they understand this and they speak like that. They speak in a sense where you can feel the, yeah, vibe. the vibe. So they're not truthful yeah. to you. You yeah, get what I'm vibe. saying? Yeah. So what I'm saying is in your scenarios and that scenario that you just used, that men, that man wasn't truthful with you. He still did what he had to do to get the box. Good for him because he got it. Now on to you, big, uh, <laughs> big Lola. If a guy approached you, said, "Hey, big thing, your lip gloss popping, girl." I want to see would, what them lips. I want to see what them lips do right now. What's up? And guess what? <laughs> I may not even call you afterwards. He's speaking what's on his mind. Would you disqualify him or would you qualify him? First and foremost, you gonna call me after. But Ooh, okay. anyway, Ooh, that part. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. I'm just saying because I've been in predicaments <laughs> where it's though like me. Personally, I thought it was just going to be one night stand. Homie no came whole back. shit. You feel me? Like, whatever. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I've been in predicaments where though, like, I really thought, like, yo, oh, this shit about to be a one night stand. Right. Like, I'm about to just do my ones and twos, whatever. Next day. Whenever. Hey, how you doing, yes. Stains? Good morning. <laughs> how you doing, beautiful? Da, 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 da. And I feed into it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. Like, I just feel like at the end of the day, we grown. You know what I'm saying? Shit happen. It is what it is. Like, But if it's a chemistry there and it just happened, it just happened. Like, I'm not going to fault you for it. I'm not going to fault myself for it. And we're just going to keep it pushing. Okay, so pretty much you're saying if a guy approached you and he was direct. I respect it 100%. You would respect it 100%, would but you're going to disqualify him. I, will dis- I won't never, because I would... I will- Really respect the fact that you I, already yeah, got yeah. these intentions. Yo, for real, a lot of girls ain't never heard no do say no. no, no. Yeah, yeah, I will respect. Yes, women will respect that. Oh, okay. Oh, then, you know, would be surprised. You know what's crazy though? If a nigga come up to me, be like, "Yo, Lola, your lip gloss is popping." You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to suck his dick, whatever, whatever. But like, if he's like, "Yo, Lola, I'm feeling you. I'm digging you." Da da da. I just want to, you know, I'm saying, see what it feel like. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look at him. If I'm attracted to you, whatever, I might. And that money, right? And that car, right? And that, and that situation, might. right? Yeah, you okay. did. So, right. You right. did, right. Really? Right. <laughs> but then, that ex- it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess his mind up, though. <laughs> like, oh, she doing this with me? Then she might... No, it's just that we just got that chemistry. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If yeah. it just happened, it just happened. Right, mm-hmm. Lex, let's stay on topic yeah. real quick, right? Okay. So, you're saying that... If he was direct, truly direct, what I just said, mm-hmm. what be on a man's mind, he approaches you, hey, baby, I want to fornicate with you, you're very beautiful. Nah, he Fornicate needs to do other you. things. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, take so, me on a date. Guess what? <laughs> yeah, take you on a date. Love so me. So listen, ladies, <laughs> ladies, 
you can't handle the truth. Mm -hmm. And men innately know that you can't handle the truth. So since we know that you can't handle the truth, we're never going to tell you the truth. Now let's correlate all of this into what we were speaking about before in the last conversation. In the last conversation, we were talking about how dudes put girls in a sex zone category only and you don't know about it. You get what I'm saying? It's because we know that you can't handle the truth. So a nigga keep you in a sex zone only for 12 years and being a he'll take you on trips, he'll do other things, but somewhere in the line in a relationship, maybe you wasn't submissive enough. Maybe you did some whole stuff. Maybe you posted some thirst traps online that he, that he didn't like. You did something that disqualified yourself for true relationship uh true relationship value. And you did some whole stuff. So he's like, okay, mm. she did some whole stuff in the past. She's in recreational use only. Make sense? And you'll never know about it because he's still going to hit it. He's never going to stop hitting it. And guess what? He's never going to tell you the truth because he wants to continue to hit it. Disagree. Okay. You could disagree, I'm but that disagree is a fact. I'm going to disagree because like, it's, a man's going to do what you allow. Period. So at the end of the day, if you say you're saying, yeah. oh, well... Women can't handle the truth. We can't. You don't know what a woman can handle. We handle so much shit that we can handle well, the truth. Well, I'd rather nigga come in my face like, yo, I don't even really want nothing with you, but I just want to X, Y, and Z. Okay. Please, that's so what listen, I listen. love. That, leave, that saved me the headache. That saved you the um, ladies. You headache too. Ladies, I want you to understand. The reason why Jesus was a virgin, Jesus was on this planet for 30 years old. Listen, sex. listen. Listen, Jesus. listen, listen. I want y'all to understand this. <laughs> Please listen to this. I want y'all to understand this. Jesus was a man that didn't commit any sins. He didn't lie to anyone. He didn't snake anyone. He didn't do any bad behavior. He was a good man, the most righteous man ever to exist and to walk this planet. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The reason why he was a virgin is because he know in order to get y'all, he wouldn't. He he can't tell the truth because y'all can't handle the truth. Y'all <laughs> yeah. can't handle no. the truth. So Jesus no. himself, no. Jesus himself was a virgin no. because of y'all. What he do? What are you talking he about? He put Adam and Eve to the. He nah, put Adam and Eve into the Jesus. Jesus himself. Listen, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, he ain't getting no cheeks. He thought we were going to be like, oh, yes, he's right. 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 Hey, listen, I ladies. Believe in, I believe in a higher power. Yes, it's listen, this up is there, what I'm saying, ladies. But I don't ladies. know if it's Jesus. Nah, nah, Jesus it's, had Mary Magdalene rubbing his feet uh, with oil in her hair. Right, man. You know what Jesus saying? wasn't clapping no cheeks, man. She was clapping the cheeks. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> man, look. <laughs> listen, nah, man. I'm, I'm this I'm this bugging, is bugging. what I'm saying, ladies. Uh, Generally, men know <laughs> that women can't handle the truth. Since we know that, we know we got to play the game in order to get y'all because if we are truthful and that, like, truthful is being direct. You can't handle me speaking, right, right now I'm barely even speaking direct to y'all. I'm kind of speaking like in ways eye. so y'all could understand it and y'all don't get offended. Can I say something? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so it's like, let me put it like this. Let's say a guy has a main bitch and a side bitch, right? The side female finds out about the main girl. She still fucks with him, mm -hmm. right? She fucks with him. She understands when you with her, mm -hmm. I, I call you, you don't answer, I get it. You with shorty, you with your wife, mm -hmm. understood. Here, got it, whatever, right? But it takes a whole bunch of arguing, a whole bunch of fights, a whole bunch of, I know you got a girlfriend, I know you got a wife at home, I know you got this, and to get to that point. If the guy was just straight up front, like, Hey, like, I like you, and I want you to be, like, my little side Johnny. I got a got wife it. back at home, and if you want to go having your, you want to have your main man over there, and we just, we're, like, sneaky links, we could handle that 100%, because, because, like, you, you're saying yes to the fact that side females are still submissive to mm. the man and the wife. Mm. So, yes, we can handle it. But we why can would you even want to be approached that way? No, it's not whether we want so to or we don't. It's about, about it's about the fact that like we can handle it. Yeah, baby, we look, can. you're speaking about an exception to the rule. <coughs> Those type of girls that you know um, play like you know girlfriend number two, uh, they're with an exceptional guy, and that e exceptional guy, a man of value, he tends to be able to be honest because his value is so high. He can replace all the girls. 
So he tends to be a little bit more honest and like, yeah, I got another chick at home. You know, what's up? What's good, man? And either you're going to accept it or not. If you don't accept it, that's your loss. He's just yeah, going to replace you. You're off the squad. <laughs> off the squad. So squad. those guys tend to be honest, but even those guys still lose girls. Still don't get every girl. Still can't get like, there are still gr many girls. The majority of women will uh, disqualify that honest man, even if he has a whole lot of value. You get what I'm saying? The honest man. I think it, it depends, depends on what he's doing for her. Damn, Jinx. Honestly, I just think, think it depends on the female. Like, I'd rather a nigga to tell me what it is so I can know what I'm getting myself into. I don't want to be going into this shit and then you telling me, oh, well, I fucked with you. And the next thing you know, you don't fuck with me. And then you fuck with me. It's just too yeah. much. So women it in general, I'm speaking much. about. Yeah, it just takes too much yeah. effort. It takes too much time. Whereas though, you could just be up front and you could be a honey. I think women in general, it's like... As long as you're doing for me what I require and what I want, then I can accept that. Women in general tell the main girl all the time, like, yeah, girl, he was, that's what they go to. They slide in the main girl's inbox, like, yeah, he was hit, He was texting me, he was hitting me up. If she's in love with him, if she's in love with him and she's salty, nah, bro, but not if he's even. playing Regular his Jones. part and he's keeping her in check and he's doing what he has to do for her, She's not going to slide in that female's no, inbox. I'm a because man. Why would so she do this. that? She's going to fuck up her own play. <laughs> but every girl, but this. every girl, if you know you're the main girl and he fucking with you, you know for a fact that he fucking with other bitches. Exactly. Your, yeah, your time right. be limited. Yep. He get irritated. Mm -hmm. He don't want to be bothered. Like, it just yep. be, a mu it's be a bunch of stuff that leads to it. So you know when your dude is messing with other females. Mm -hmm. So when you know that, You'd be like, damn. You sit back, you think about the shit. But if he paying the bills, he provide, he protecting you, he doing all that. Most females ain't gonna say much. They might tackle exactly. a little bit. Yeah, we're not talking about the main girl though. Like, but the, I'm the just main girl is already general, in a position of, you know, uh, you know, some authority in the situation. I'm talking about a we guy because she brought it up. A guy that has a girl uh -huh. and he's approaching other females. If he is honest, because you got to think about it. Women naturally look for you, you when in a courting process, right? Mm -hmm. Women don't look for sex instantly. You look to the vibes. What kind of vibe is he? You know, what kind of you know is he cool? And then after after the vibes, if you know if he's if he approaches you, he's charming, he's good looking. After that first approach, then he's texting you. If he's a good texter, things is funny, cool. After y'all go on a date, okay, date went well. He smashed, he hit it, da 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 things add up right what i'm saying is that that man that has a main chick if he wants to talk to another chick and get that girl as a side chick if he's honest right up front there's a high 98 percent chance that the female is going to disqualify the guy no can i speak it's just facts. I just feel like no, it's not facts. I just <laughs> not. I want to argue back and forth with you. It's rejection. <clears throat> a nigga don't want to be rejected because why? It lower their ego. You get what I'm saying? If I be like, if you be like, yo, Lola, I, I got a girl back home. I'm da 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 da. da. I might feed into it. L what Jesus, I'm saying, is, listen, 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 listen. But though. I might though. It depends yeah. on where I'm at in life. Because mm -hmm. it's yeah, certain that's... girls that's okay with yeah, being side like, bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, Me? I, I, I believe I'm not going yeah. front. Like, I'm not going for it. You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not okay with being a side bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm a main bitch. Make me feel like I'm special. I don't give a fuck. If you got fucking, uh, what's that? I don't know a name right now. Keisha, Tyel, Keisha, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, so like I, I need to feel like I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Ladies, but what I'm saying I'm is this: just, just based off of what she said, I'm saying that <laughs> it, it don't add up because it's one. It's all about the value of the guy, okay. the attractionness, and the value of the guy, and then that determines what he can dictate. You feel what I'm saying? Most men, just a quick statistic. One in three men between a, between the ages of 18 and 30 is either virgin or a celibate. So niggas ain't getting boxed and it's hard for niggas to get boxed. Oh, yeah, that's 30%, 30 percent of men. So then the other th the other thing is that if a man like because we're going to speak about her situation about pretty much uh, the 
situation that she said, like a man as a girl, and then he's going to go out there and get a side chick. In order for him to get that side chick, it's best not to be honest and direct right up front. Like right in the beginning, you can't be like, yeah, hey, what's up, girl? Yeah, so I got a girl. Think about what honesty is. Hey, you're very beautiful. Um, I would love to hang out with you and have some fun and do some fun, great sexual activities. I got a girl at home. She's cool. Um, she's not cool with it, so you can't tell her. But, um, you know, what's up? Let's have some fun. So, so I no, feel no, like think about this because that's honesty. <laughs> so most females would just disqualify that man. How it works is this. This is how it works. This is what I'm talking about. What uh, true honesty is. This is why Jesus didn't, was a virgin because he couldn't in order for, for, for him to get box. He had to throw a little bit of curveball in there. You got to think it's Jesus. Nah, if he throws any type of lie, he's not. Throw, <laughs> now, I, he's not. He's he, he's not going to in order for him to get box. It has to be like a 50 percent of a lie, or maybe 100 percent of a lie. Somewhere there would have to be some type of lie, because if he's honest, right, uh, Jesus is an honest man. He's still a human. I'm sure he had testosterone. I'm sure the nigga was horny. You get what I'm saying? So him being honest with a female would be, hey, you're beautiful, uh, Mary Jo. And, uh, Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, uh, whatever. Go. Get and, uh, you know, the honesty would have to come out. I really don't want to take you seriously but i want to have sex with you mm. that would be honest or if he's honest he would say you know what i want he would have to be so direct it, that would scare girls away um i want to get to know you and i look at you as marriageable material and they go what marriage material what or maybe back in them days maybe they probably would have been like oh wow thank you take me in but <laughs> <laughs> what i'm saying is most likely the reason why Jesus was a virgin because he know that woman can't handle the truth because he can't be honest with y'all. So let me just bring it all in, right? 